Okay, where were we? Oh yes, things were a bit of a mixed bag for the Ozman. On the plus side, I had Toby's telepathic powers. You know you can't read computers, right? Do now. And I'd met the girl of my dreams. On the downside, that girl may have been selling weapons to terrorists. But worst of all, she was seeing someone else. What's he got that I don't got? How about unrestricted access to the missile guidance chips this company manufactures? It was clear I had to do something. I'm gonna go to Kitty's lair and I'm gonna buck it. So while I got ready to destroy the best thing I never had, Toby was left with just his wits to get the truth out of Gage Tanner. I know where you work. Well, your men picked me up in front of my office. So. Look, I know you gave Kitty the chips. See, we know everything, Gage. It's over. Kitty's very seductive, and she's a very, very bad person. She said she loves me. And then I just handed over the chips. <sighs> but why? Have you seen her? My father was right. I'm just, I'm worthless. I'm a worthless worm. I am worthless, and I deserve to be spanked. No, I'm not going to do that. It was now clear. Venus Latimer and Gage Tanner had been played like pawns by Kitty. But what she didn't know was the Ozman was on to her. Things were about to enter an end game. What's the matter, big boy? Uh, nothing. Um... Why don't you, uh, go freshen up, and I'll slip into nothing. Sure. Change your plans. I'm going off the grid. <laughs> what happened to you? I'm lonely. Now get over here, killer. Kill Tanner. This little piggy is a perfect patsy. <sighs> little piggy? What? I know. I know you stole the chips from Gage Tanner and you planned on killing him and framing me. Why? Why kill Tanner? Why frame me? Why the missiles? Watch. Tut tut. Don't worry your little head with that. Yeah, but. But why though? Silly boy, don't you know? Because I can. <laughs>